wheelchair tennis has grown so much over the last few years. The only different rule that we have is that we can bounce the ball twice. But I think the, the main principle which makes watching wheelchair tennis a little bit different from the maple body tennis is that serving from the wheelchair is a lot more difficult because you're stood still after your serve. You have to react on your opponent. The chairs are in, I think in my opinion, are such an important thing. They allow us to go fast, stop really quick, uh, turn really fast. Um, and I think they're getting better and better with technology that advances. So when I first started, I had never imagined that that the Grand Slams would take wheelchair tennis this seriously in my career. I'd always thought it would be something of the future. Last year was amazing. I think I, I did better than I'd ever imagined I did I, or I would do. Um, it was for me, not especially a goal to get the Golden Grand Slam, but at the same time, the year was just going on and titles came and it was just amazing to sort of see how that developed into something that was so big um, and so special. So I feel like the biggest change is definitely the way that we are viewed now as actual professional athletes. I can really notice the difference between back then where we were sort of just there, whereas now we're we're part of the we're part of the Grand Slams. Uh, we're part of the players. Players say hi to you. I think that's also a very important step that we need to accomplish to, to be seen as professional athletes, because that's what we are. Uh, we, we train every day. Uh, we're just as we're just as excited to play those Grand Slams. Wheelchair champion Dida de Cruz.